guilty as charged. For Sun Media, I'm Brad Hunter. In a New York City courtroom on Wednesday, Guylan Maxwell was convicted of five of six sex trafficking charges against her, including one against a minor. What comes next? That depends. Will she sing like a canary? Let's find out. Maxwell is expected to be sentenced sometime in January, and she faces up to 60 long years in prison. She is 60 years old right now. That means she's going to be about 1,000 by the time she gets out. However, she is not without cards to play, although she didn't offer to take a plea deal, and none was offered. But here's what she has. She has that little black book. She has her longtime paramour, Jeffrey Epstein's secrets. She knows names, names such as Gates, Clinton, Trump, and the biggest fish of all, Prince Andrew. The rogue prince, AKA the puke of York, was in fact a very good friend of Jeffrey Epstein. So good, in fact, that one of Jeffrey Epstein's former sex slaves, Virginia Roberts, claims that she had underage sex with the prince on three different occasions. She has now launched a civil action against him, which the Duke is very seriously trying to get out of. But what does this mean for Maxwell? Well, here's what it means. He's her big card. If she flips over Prince Andrew, then that will make her ride in prison, probably someplace in Connecticut. That will make her ride easier and shorter. So as we speak, right now, Prince Andrew's lawyers are in emergency talks, according to British newspapers, trying to figure out the best way forward for the prince. And no doubt there are other wealthy and powerful men who enjoyed some of Jeffrey Epstein's largesse with underage sex slaves who are now trying to figure out what happens next. So far, Maxwell hasn't said anything, but that's so far. Maxwell is expected to appeal almost immediately. In fact, her family optimistically says that she'll be vindicated. Now, I'm not uh, going to put any money on that, but the thing is, she can launch an appeal, but whether it goes anywhere is another matter. Most legal experts predict that any legal appeal will be torpedoed and she will be left to rot in a cell in Connecticut sans red carpet. One thing that Guylan Maxwell has proven herself to be is fiercely loyal to the gazillionaires and powerful men in her life. But once inside that federal prison in a 12 foot by 6 foot cell, that may change and she will be forced to use the only cards she has left. Let us know what you think and subscribe to our YouTube channel. For Sun Media, I'm Brad Hunter.